Hi guys and welcome back to another update on our favorite EV and battery recycling stock. Before we start, please support me by hitting the subscribe button. We're growing rapidly and your support is everything. Let's begin. For two straight hours with Xi Jinping. And uh, you all know as well as I do, these folks, uh, and it was a good conversation. I know him well. We spent a lot of time together over the uh, uh, over the years I was vice president. And, uh, but, uh, you know, they're gonna, if we don't get moving, they're gonna eat our lunch. Uh, they have a major, major new in initiatives on rail, and they already have rail that goes 225 miles an hour with, with ease. They're working, they're working very hard to do what I think we're gonna have to do. And I think the uh, automobile industry is already there, and so is labor. They're gonna, they're working very hard to try to move in a position where they end up being the, the source of, uh, of uh, a new way in which to power automobiles, uh, <laughs> um, which would, they're, they're going to invest a lot of money. They're investing billions of dollars in dealing with a whole range of issues that relate to transportation, the environment, and a whole range of other things. So we just have to step up. I could not have said it better. China is the most dominating force that has already overtaken USA in so many aspects. Thanks to China, the EV industry has finally gotten the spotlight it deserves and major automakers and countries are taking notice, not wanting to miss out on the action. The global electric vehicle market is heating up and China wants to dominate. Increasingly, more and more analysts expect China to be a leader in EV production, partly because it has the largest automobile market in the world, and then it has all these government policies to support consumers to buy EVs. The Chinese government has invested at least $60 billion to support the EV industry, and it's pushing an ambitious plan to transition to all electric or hybrid cars by 2035. They have an all of society approach to winning and dominating the electric vehicle market globally. In 2020, EV sales in the U.S. were far below Europe and China. Out of the 3.24 million electric cars sold, only 328,000 were in the U.S. 1.33 million were sold in China, and 1.39 million were sold in Europe. And as we go to 2025, China will pull away from everyone else, accounting for at least half of total global vehicle sales. Let's look at China for a second. China is the biggest EV market in the world and the country has ambitious plans to have all electric or hybrid cars by 2035. And to fuel these cars, China dominates the battery production, adding 93 lithium ion battery producing gigafactories compared to the only four in the United States. But can the U.S. catch up to China's massive lead? The U.S. seems to be sort of like the young reluctant colt saying, we'll get around to it, but what's the hurry? Well, there is a hurry. The race is on. China and Europe are way ahead. Do you see the problem here? This would make the U.S. heavily dependent on China for its battery supply. And the risk is not just for our EVs. We need batteries for military, who, by the way, is also planning to electrify its vehicles and gears, your electricity, and the batteries in your iPhone. The primary barrier for consumers to buy electric vehicles is the cost, and batteries are, represent the bulk of the cost of the electric vehicles. Besides subsidies, China's government also provides support in battery manufacturing and the supply chain. It's the leading producer of electric batteries and motors. Battery production around the world is concentrated in Northeast Asia. It's Japan, Korea, and China. Together, they account for about 95% of total battery production for vehicles. Now within that 95%, China has more than 60% at this point. So it's clearly the leader in terms of battery production capabilities. The analysts are basically across the board saying that China has control of the chemicals, the production facilities that are needed for electric vehicle battery production for the next probably five to 10 years. So there's actually some groups in the U.S. who are also raising this as a concern if the future of mobility is going to be electric. Other than Tesla, battery manufacturing in the U.S. is almost non-existent. General Motors and others have announced plans or initiatives to kind of enter the market. 
GM has a $2.3 billion investment right now with LG Chem. They're building a plant in Ohio, and that plant is set to open, be finished in 2022. Look at the situation, the U.S. and China, the relations are at their worst in 50 years. And should the U.S. become over-reliant on Chinese batteries, well, it'd be so simple. Just the Chinese would say, sorry, we don't have enough supply for you. Now, some of you might say, hey, wait a minute. This is just a scare tactic. So what if China is producing my Tesla or iPhone juice? Trade war is absolutely unlikely unless the world leaders have absolutely gone batshit crazy. That's a fair point, but you know what else will be lost? American jobs. If America misses out on producing the, its EV infrastructure and batteries, then America will not only miss out on creating jobs, but America will also fail to attract talented minds from across the world. Despite the pandemic, deliveries of EVs grew year over year in 2020 by 43% globally. The U.S. only saw a 4% increase. But there are signs that the U.S. is getting more serious about going electric. President Joe Biden has renewed the U.S.'s commitment to fighting climate change with a goal to reach net zero emissions by 2050. He's also announced investments in green infrastructure, including adding an additional 500,000 charging stations. Biden's plan to fast-track America's EV and supply chain agenda brings a lot of benefit to ABML. Battery recycling companies will be crucial to achieving climate change goals, strengthening domestic supply chain and creating American jobs, both of which China has already poured tens of billions of dollars into upgrading their EV game by investing in battery R&D, battery production, EV manufacturing, and EV charging stations. All hope is not lost though. America is catching up and fast. Biden has already promised a whopping $174 billion out of the $2 trillion infrastructure to be put into EV and its supply chain. While China has a commanding lead, all hope is not lost for the U.S. to catch up. China is ramped up battery production as well as car production for electric vehicles, but the quality of their batteries and particularly the quality of their own cars is still not world class. And that applies to Chinese cars in general. They're not piles of junk, but they're not going to compete with leading European brands or, or Tesla. So if they're going to set their sights on Europe and the United States, they're going to have to raise the quality of those cars overall to be competitive. We've been the standard for the world in so many technologies here in America for a hundred years that is possible for us to conceive of a future where we're not in charge, we're not the leader, we're not the standard setter, but the risks are real. We can come back, it's early days, only 5% of total sales are electric, but the longer we wait, the harder it's gonna to be to do a comeback victory. But we better get our act together now. ABML is in the right position to benefit from these plans. ABML is a serious player. We have already seen proof of it with their latest partnership with the Critical Materials Institute. If you want to learn more about ABML's partnership with CMI, then please click on the link you now see above. ABML is not only working hard to recycle the batteries, but they're also working actively with the DOE to update the policies on EVs. I will talk more about this in my next video. America is ready to build up the infrastructure fit for the 21st century. What are your thoughts? How long do you think it will take for America to catch up with China on the EV front? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like this video, then please hit the like button. I hope you have a successful day.